Here are a couple of exercises that will ho hopefully help you with an arm vibrato. You can do either arm or wrist vibrato. And most classical players can do both. I've not been trained classically. I play fiddle music. And I use an arm vibrato. I find it to be easier for me. And um, the first thing that you want to be able to do to do a vibrato is you really need to have a shoulder rest or be able to hold your fiddle up uh, without the use of your left hand because you want this to be free and you want your hand to be able to be really relaxed when you do this. There's a couple of exercises that I have my students do to prepare them. And the first one is, it's, it's basically a siren on the fiddle. I'm going to have you use your third finger on the A string. And what you're going to do is don't press down like you're fretting the string, but just put your finger on top of the string, and you're just going to slide it back and forth like this, like you're polishing the string. Make sure that your wrist is straight and that you're not moving your wrist as you do this. And notice how my hand just kind of, the whole hand, including my thumb, kind of goes up. The second thing you're going to do while you're doing this is you're going to use one bow motion. This is kind of like rubbing your stomach and patting your head. You want to use one long bow stroke while you do this, and it's not going to sound good. It's just going to sound, like I said, kind of like a siren. And um, you want to go ahead and try that. When you can do that, um, Then you can try going for a smaller siren, and this sounds even worse, but take it in about your third position, uh, well it's first position, but where your third finger would normally be, and do a really small one like this, and again, I'm still not pressing down on the string, I'm just preparing. And then the next step of this is, you're actually going to press down like you're fretting. And usually what happens when people go to this step is we start seeing the wrist bend and the arm twist this way. The reason that you're doing the exercise this way is you're trying to remember that the vibrato movement is from the scroll to the bridge. Scroll to bridge this direction and not sideways this direction. And so that's the motion that you want to think of. Your hand needs to be really loose for this, fingers loose. I'm doing that motion right now and it kind of looks like my fingers are moving. You can even see the skin on my thumb moving when I do that. And so what you want to do is that's your motion. And keep that motion going. If you have trouble with this, you can also support the end of your scroll like on a wall or something. And that will help you hold it up. And then you can do the same thing. Um, you can also have somebody watch you to see if you're moving your wrist or not because you want this to be straight if you're doing an arm vibrato. And um, you can practice with each of the fingers. Most people find second or third finger the easiest. The little exercise that I do is I walk up to the third finger. <laughs> Now. Mm -hmm.